Hello there, this is Jerry. Welcome to another lesson on JavaScript. I will be showing you how to use variables by multiplying two numbers. So here, we have to create a function. Um, name it function. And the word function is a reserve word in JavaScript. Um, and then we have to name it anything we like. In this case, we'll name it we'll name it multiply like so um, then we have curlies um, then you will need three variables to make the computation right so two variables will be inputs and one would be the result so we will declare declare variable we state we declare as and it's called var and we can name it anything anything we want name it a comma b and then result for the answer and then you know you can put it all in one line separate um with commas or in separate lines um but to relieve some space I put it in one line so um, next would be um, to set the inputs A and B um, as if we were in inputting a numbers um, then we was uh, so we have to set both of them to a unique ID and this is called document dot get element by ID. Then we can call it anything we want. I call it. I'll call this box one. Um, open double quotes. Um, and then we have to determine this to be a value, which is also a reserve word in JavaScript. Pretty much is recognizing this is a value that the user uh, typed. Because um, this ID part attaches um, to an element. And, and this part, the value, that value, states that it's a value. Um, either as a text or numbers. Um, so we do the same for B. So uh, copy and paste. Um, see. Oh, then we have to change this since this A and B is unique. Changes to box two because um, we we want to we we don't want to have the same ID because it would because whatever if we type in for both then it would be like behave the same um, and and we wouldn't want that um, for two inputs. Uh, so um, so now we would um, write down the formula for multiplication so we set result is equal to a times the, uh, the star b the star is like the, the star right above the 8 on the keyboard or on the far right the, uh, the keypad right above the 9 then we will have to set another ID element that would this um, an element attached to an element in another HTML element that would help display the results um, 
and what we typed in. Um, so we said another document that get element by ID. Um, we'll say R as a result dot inner HTML. Inner that HTML is where you you know it displays the results of that value or any thing we want to show. Um, we set that equal to um, let's see a plus a concatenation plus which is pretty much a separator between a variable and a string or character. Um, um, so we, so I have a double quotes with the star times. Got plus B plus. Um, so it's like five times four equals um, equal symbol to be displayed on the screen uh, plus the result semicolon so so this completes our function now heading over to the body um, now I'm gonna make everything centered by doing this I'll set the style uh, the attribute style set it equal to text align center this will center everything and then uh, to display lights nicely, um, I'll have a title. I'll uh, use heading one as the size of the title or the text. Um, and you can see it nice and bold, nice and, you know, and large on, when we open the web page. So um, we'll call this Let's Multiply to numbers then um, we need an in we need two inputs um, we need an HTML element that would get two inputs and that element is called a uh, input input is really commonly known to um, well used in web development um, such as in forms, um, uh, maybe someone wants to, when, or will like when you're taking a quiz online, that's where they use input when you type in something, you know, like questionnaires and stuff like that. So we have input type equal because input has many different types. There's button. There's uh, some, you know, submit and check boxes and so on. Um, in this case, we're dealing with numbers, so it's called number. Then we can associate that with an ID. Um, this case here, a variable a has box one. Put box one there close and then do the same thing for B just copy just copy and put I will just copy and paste here um, then we will need something to trigger the function after we input after we input two numbers um, so that it can uh, run so either it's a hover or button or um, anything in this case obviously we should use a button um, on click make it stay simple nothing um, then we use an on click um, 
uh, JavaScript uh, HTTP event. Uh, it takes in a function or script. When you hit the left, uh, the left click on the mouse, so take in multiply. And then you can have several um, functions, like putting like a semicolon in between them. Um, let me close that. Then we want. Then we want to name our button. I'll name it result. And for you know presentation purposes, I want to have a horizontal line below it and the results so that we can see the result below. Um, so I'll use the span element, which is commonly used for one-liners or you know getting something um, and print it to your screen or wrap around a text to do something. Um, so we commonly do span and I'll attach it with the ID that we have here, R for um, we close it, we don't have to put anything between here. And everything should be good. Um, now we just have to. I'm gonna save it now. Save. We have multiply. How is this being displayed now? We'll put five for A and four for B. You see the results. We, now we have five times four equals twenty. Um, what else? Uh, Fifty times four, two hundred. Um, you know, fifty. Uh, fifty times fifty times fifty times sixty. We have three thousand. So now that we know it works. Thank you for watching. We have completed our lesson. You are welcome to subscribe, comment, and share. You may go to the discussion area for the requests about any web programming lessons or projects you would like me to show you.